everybody, this is Heidi Reagan, Executive Director for the Center for Playback Theater, and I am so excited today to be joined by Jonathan Fox, founder of the Playback Theater and the Center for Playback Theater, which is now the Center for Playback Theater, it used to be the School of Playback Theater, which is so exciting because we are going to be talking about 40 years, a little recap of a few of the most wonderful moments of 40 years of Playback Theater, and we're doing this this year, to celebrate the 40 years, we're doing an online, first time ever, Center for Playback Theaters, creating an online auction from September 20th, starting then for 40 days. And you'll be able to come and donate or auction or bid on things from around the world. Playbackers from around the world will be bringing their beautiful gifts and donating them and you, the audience, or our fellow playbackers or even non-playbackers can then bid on these wonderful items. So Jonathan's here today to tell us about some of the potential items or types of items he will be donating to the auction that represent wonderful moments in his history of playback theater. So Jonathan, if you'd like to tell us a little bit more, we're very excited. Well, first I want to say that uh, the idea of 40 years is really amazing. From the time we started in 1975 with just an idea, not knowing whether it would work or not, and now all of us together, we have come so far and accomplished so much. So there's no way I could uh, sum it all up, but uh, I am excited about this auction. And uh, as a way of celebrating the 40, 40th anniversary of Playback Theater, and uh, I have collected a few items that I can talk about. They're not necessarily what I, I'm going to uh, offer in the auction, but... Uh, it may be that um, most of these things will be available. And as I look around our house, uh, there are many objects actually that people have given to us over the years. And this is precious because, you know, we, we start out and we have students who come and those students eventually become colleagues and have their own companies and practice in their own right. And then we become friends. And so playback turns out to be a kind of um, wonderful way to meet people and to uh, develop friendships. And uh, so uh, this is my first item. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a pine cone. Okay. And this, this pine cone uh, was given to me uh, by a man named Igor in Russia. And it actually comes from Siberia. Um, and and this is exciting to me because in, in Siberia, the pine nut is the kind of ecological um, food base for all of the animals, right up to the Siberian tiger. It all comes from the pine nut. And uh, Igor, who uh, goes to Siberia, among other places, to teach playback, um, all the way to Vladivostok, uh, and... Um, he gave me this pine cone, and I'm not going to get rid of it, so there. <laughs> oh, you're just oh. teasing us. That's yeah. it. <laughs> so so um, my next item is uh, a llama. Uh, and this llama um, is one of the animals I use. Um, sometimes uh, when I'm, often when I have to give a lecture, you know, it's too much to give a straight lecture. So I, I use one of these animals. Um, this this llama, obviously from the Andes, from the mountains of South America, um, it it has it's a very spiritual kind of creature. And uh, whenever you ask it something, uh, we could ask it something right now. Uh, Heidi, what would you like to ask my llama? Well, I'd love to ask your llama what your llama's name is. Ah, uh, yes. What is your name, llama? <sighs> How beautiful. Well, you can ask it many things, but actually this seems to be the language of the high, high, high mountains. I've never quite, you know, cracked the the code because everything sounds the same. It always sounds like, <laughs> um, but I think it's quite a profound llama uh, and uh, it's very soft to the touch. Mm. And actually this I'm not selling either. <laughs> Oh, you are a tease then. <laughs> I am a tease. But now I have something 
that I, I definitely am uh, planning to give away. Uh, and that is that um, I first started to go to Japan in 1984, and I've been going almost every year uh, to work with uh, Japanese playbackers. And, a, um, you know, in, Jap in Japan, you don't wear shoes inside, uh, as is true of many Asian countries. Uh, and I was happy to do this. But I made a mistake, which was that I didn't really pay attention to my socks. You know, if you're in a country like Japan, you want to be sure to have not only clean socks, but socks that are whole, socks that are in good shape. In one year, uh, I happened to have a big hole in one of my socks. Oh, dear. And this was um, a very serious breach, and they teased me about it for years and years afterwards. <laughs> And one student uh, named R Rumiko, um, she made, um, she gave me one year um, a little box. Uh, you, you can see the box. And inside the box are um, a whole collection of socks made out of origami. Oh, how creative. Yes. So this is, this is my... Oh. Different sizes. This is, oh, this is lovely. My, this is, yeah, here's a very, very tiny one. Let me see if I can get it. This is this is my socks collection. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. lovely. What a very thoughtful gift that was, and, and very humorous as well. <laughs> yes. I also have some books that were very important to me in the early years, Um you know, I had a background in experimental theater. Um, this is called Something Wonderful Right Away about improvisation. Very nice. Uh, and, uh, of course, it's signed, has my, my name in it. Uh, and I have another one here that was helpful to me, and this is called The Radical Theater Notebook. Okay. Um, again, this has not only my name, but it says School of Playback Theater stamped in it. Lovely. You can see. Lovely. Um, so I, ha I have, of course, quite a few books like this. Um, and um, I'm considering donating some of my books to the, to the auction. So these are kind of historical items. Um, also, um, these are some of our early programs. Those uh, are very special. From some of our first performances. This is the logo that Joe Salas designed uh, with a little bird up here uh, that now the IPTN uses. Um, and of course, this says, we, we had a song that we sang. Um, and uh, the, these are some of the words for this, from the song. Do you have a story you would like to tell? Is there something at the bottom of your wishing well? Oh. Um, that was one of the lines of the song. Um, oh, how lovely. And is anyone using that song anymore? Um, we, we don't use that song anymore. Oh. That song kind of retired with the original company, but it's, okay. it's a nice song. It has a kind of jazzy feel to it. Lovely. Um, I also have a couple of posters. Um, so here's a poster. Um, and... Uh, I don't know if you can see me, um, <laughs> yes. bit, but I had quite a bit more hair than I do now. Um, and this was this is a poster of some of the children's classes that we used to do. Oh, lovely! Um, we had young children ourselves, and this was a way to uh, include our children in the playback activity that we were spending so much time doing. Very nice. I have one more poster. Okay. Uh, and this is a poster of Joe and me, uh, and we're advertising a performance um, at Unison Learning Center. Um, and so uh, these posters are definitely something that will be part of the auction. Oh, and those are, those are priceless. And would you consider yeah. autographing those posters for the Oh, absolutely. Potential? Oh, that would be lovely. Yeah. Thank sure. you. Thank sure, you. Sure, sure. Oh, well, these are just a wonderful treasures, and they really are a, wonder, a great representation of what could be possible for other people to donate from the past of playback or just from areas of their country, like your little llama. Absolutely. And um, I'm thinking we have uh, many paintings, so 
paintings that not, don't necessarily have anything to do with playback, but uh, we have some beautiful paintings, more than fit on our walls. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm thinking that uh, we might donate one or two of our paintings mm -hmm. to the auction. Um, you know, things that, that are, are beautiful, are, are valuable, are well-made, uh, that someone else might be interested in, and it's a way to contribute uh, and show our support for the Center for Playback Theater and the playback movement in general. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Jonathan, because it really is about also sharing community and sharing the different elements of of the world, places other people may not ever be able to get to, but right. we can... Right, we can show what it's like in our area of the world, and also someone has mentioned if you have if if your area of the of the world has a specific birthday celebration or something that you do in relation to birthdays, uh, p some people have a plate that they sign the back of every year. Um, uh -huh. You know, so there's all these wonderful traditions that are honored and revered in certain parts of the world that you know, another part of the world would, would love to experience by their donation. Yeah. yeah so. I'm just wondering, can you do something like bake a cake and send it? I don't know. Uh, we could look into that, right? Uh, probably. <laughs> I guess it, it, it depends on where it's going, right? Yeah. It's right. Lovely. Well. Yeah. Thank you for that idea. So thank you so much for, for sharing with us a few of the wonderful pieces that you cherish some that you will donate, some that you will keep, and and stirring the idea in people's minds about what's possible for this auction because it it's going to be exciting and we we really want this to be a grand celebration and of course honoring you and playback and and everything that has happened over the last forty years. Well, thank you, Heidi, and I look forward to looking on the website after September 20th to yes. see what's there. Thank you. And as a matter of fact, people can go there now at www.playbackcenter.org. And under news, they'll see a little birthday cake and they can click on that birthday cake and find all the information for making a donation now because we're accepting donations now. So don't wait. Go right there. Okay. Fill out the form. Okay. Yeah, it'll be really Sounds great. great. Thank you so okay. much for your time, Jonathan. Right. Have bye a wonderful bye. day. Bye for now. Yeah.